Lesser wants to know if you have anything that can make tavern food taste. Safely herald of Andraste. It is the Scouts are posted on the ridges in case there's any trouble.
Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask him. What can they do? It's just talk. Don't underestimate the power of their words. An angry mob will do you in just as quickly as a blade. I will go with him. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. The city still mourns. Just a guess seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress me, Varric. My Lord Herald. You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. They wish to protect the people from us? We knew there would be some kind of reaction. But I didn't expect the Templars to make an appearance. The people may just be assuming what the Templars will do. I've heard of no concrete plans. You think the Order's return to the Fold, maybe? To deal with us upstarts? I know Lord Seeker Lucius. I can't imagine him coming to the Chantry's defense. Not after all that's occurred. Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are... Delayed. As you say, my lady.
I know what you are. of Val Royo. Hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart silenced by treachery. You wonder what will become of a murderer. Well, wonder no more. Behold, the so-called Herald of Andraste claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false prophet. The Maker would say no dwarf in our hour of need. You say I am the enemy. The breach in the sky is our true enemy. We must unite to stop it. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be safe once more. Still yourself. She is beneath us. What's the meaning of this? Her claim to authority is an insult, much like your own. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement. Raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet. You should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. If you're not here to help the Chantry, then you just came to make speeches. I came to see what frightens old women so, and to laugh. But Lord Seeker, what if he really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing, and the Inquisition less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. Charming fellow, isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? Do you know him very well? He took over the Seekers of Truth two years ago, after Lord Seeker Lambert's death. He was always a decent man, never given to ambition and grandstanding. This is very bizarre. Fortunately, the Templars aren't our only hope. I wouldn't write them off so quickly. There must be those in the Order who see what he's become. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. This victory must please you greatly, Sika Cassandra. We came here seeking only to speak with the Mothers. 
This is not our doing, but yours. And you had no part in forcing our hand? Do not delude yourself. Now we have been shown up by our own Templars, in front of everyone. And my fellow clerics are scattered to the wind, along with their convictions. Just tell me one thing. Do you truly believe you are the Maker's Chosen? Haven't you already made up your mind? Why ask me now? Because, despite all my fears, what if it's true? What if I have erred? I suppose it is out of our hands now. We shall all see what the Maker plans in the days to come. You're obviously skeptical. What do you believe I am? Our Divine. Her Holiness is dead. I have seen evidence for everything, except what would comfort me. That doesn't answer my question. For you to be true, a great many things must be false. And if you are false, a great many things must have failed. There is chaos ahead, whatever your intentions. So what happens now? Will the Chantry continue to denounce me? <laughs> we have already done so. And what good has it done us? Now it falls on us to select a new divine, if we can. And leave the next step to her. Provided such a selection is even possible. I truly don't know. Any revered mother who could have followed Justinia died at the Conclave. What becomes of us, and your Inquisition, is in the Maker's hands now. Where is the Lord Seeker taking the Templars? I can't begin to guess the Lord Seeker's mind. He could not have abandoned his intended role more completely. There must be sense to what we can't see. Must there? Rebellion seems popular in certain quarters, doesn't it, Seeker? Is crafting the Templars into a new power really any worse than declaring a rival to the Chantry itself? What were you hoping the Lord Seeker would do, exactly? Put aside his war against the mages and find common purpose against something much more dire. Obviously. He has other plans. With the knights vigilant slain at the Conclave, there is nothing more we can do. Perhaps there is something we can do. I'd like to believe that, Seeker. I truly would. I suppose we can expect renewed effort against the mages from him, and yet more chaos. How many Templars turned on the Chantry, exactly? They rebelled across Thedas. Some remained loyal, but not enough to call them the Order. The White Spire here in the capital was the largest garrison, but now it stands empty. Perhaps more shall flock to the Lord Seeker's banner now. How far has faith waned, I wonder? How are people responding to all of this? Despair. Fear. We mourn Her Holiness. The people look to the sky and wonder how long before terror comes for us all. There must be a way through this. Is it you? The Templars? The Maker's Will? We abandoned our duties. We servants of the faith. Now we can only pray. There's got to be a way to calm everything down and clean up this mess. I hope against hope that may be the case. They left us. The Templars left us. With a message?
I believe that mess. You are the Herald of Andraste, are you not? I have an invitation for you. If I might have a moment of your time. Grand Enchanter Fiona? Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering, and I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps my people are the wiser option. I'm surprised the leader of the mages wasn't at the Conclave. Yes. You were supposed to be, and yet somehow you avoided death. As did the Lord Seeker, you'll note. Both of us sent negotiators in our stead in case it was a trap. I won't pretend I'm not glad to live. I lost many dear friends that day. It disgusts me to think the Templars will get away with it. I'm hoping you won't let them. So you think the Templars are responsible? Why wouldn't she? Lucius hardly seems broken up over his losses, if he's concerned about them at all. You heard him. You think he wouldn't happily kill the Divine to turn people against us? So yes, I think he did it. More than I think you did it, at any rate. Does that mean the mages will help us? We are willing to discuss it with the Inquisition, at least. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my Lord Herald. Come, let us return to Haven.
It's good you've returned. We heard of your encounter. You heard? My agents in a city sent word ahead, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses, as well as the capital. At least we know how to approach the mages and Templars now. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True, he has taken the order somewhere, but to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the Order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the mages in Redcliffe instead. You think the Mage Rebellion is more united? It could be ten times worse. Or you could stop bickering and make a decision. I agree. We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. You think the invitation could be some kind of trap? If some among the rebel mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave, the same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais, but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. So you're telling me this because... The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, Please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't? Then there may be more going on than we thought. Excuse me. I've got a message for the Inquisition, but I'm having a hard time getting anyone to talk to me. Who are you, soldier? Comissius Aklasi with the Bulls Chargers Mercenary Company. We mostly work out of Ole and Navarra. We've got word of some Tevinter mercenaries gathering out on the Storm Coast. My company commander, Iron Bull, offers the information free of charge. If you'd like to see what the Bulls Chargers can do for the Inquisition, meet us there and watch us work. What can your Bulls Chargers offer the Inquisition? We're loyal, we're tough, and we don't break contracts. Ask around Val Royo. We've got references. What should I know about your commander? Ein Bull. He's one of those Kunari, the big guys with the horns. He leads from the front, he pays well, and he's a lot smarter than the last bastard I work for. Best of all, he's professional. We accept contracts with whoever makes the first real offer. You're the first time he's gone out of his way to pick a side. Why did your commander send us this information? Iron Bull wants to work for the Inquisition. He thinks you're doing good work. I look forward to meeting this Iron Bull. We're the best you'll find. Come to the Storm Coast and you can see us in action. I don't understand. Even the Templars... Chantry now. What's going to happen? <laughs> 